is all about. And um, so Reach Across America is a nationwide program and our start time coordinates with Arlington. So they're doing the same ceremony that we are on the East Coast and then so on throughout the country. So I really appreciate the time that you've taken out of this season to, to come to the cemetery. Um, our chapter is the Harriet G. Walker chapter and we are from the Daughters of the American Revolution and our member Jan has a son buried here and so we adopted this ceremony as our own. Um, there's always a, a peaceful a peaceful feeling when we come here. So we're excited that everyone else can, can join that too. We have so many people to thank for making all of this come into to play. The post from Blaine has come to serve as our honor guard and also Corey Springhorn Springhorn's going to be playing the national anthem and taps for us as well. Lots of sponsorships among you. And then we'll all be volunteering to play series at the end. So um, before we get started, um, we will have Corey play the national anthem. And then after that, the children will come forward and help us uh, lead the pledge. So we can all join in singing as we play. So Oh. to go. 
We are free to vote for whomever we feel should be in government office, and we answer to no one but our own feelings. The United States of America was founded on the ideals of freedom, justice, and equality. Our nation stands as a shining beacon of liberty and freedom to the world. We thank those who gave their lives to keep us free, and we shall not forget you. We shall remember. Today, many of you here are either family members of or veterans of wars and conflicts that America has had to fight to protect the innocent and oppressed. We have always been the first nation to stand up for the freedom of people from around the world. Many of you here today have answered that call and have served your country well, so we are here to say thank you. Today we show a united front of nationality all across the United States as we remember the fallen, honor those who serve, and teach our children the value of freedom. We're going to be placing honor wreaths, um, so those of you that will be doing so will come forward and place it on the hook that corresponds. Doris Anderson is the state president of the Ladies Auxiliary of the Veterans of Foreign Wars. She will lay a remembered wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Army. Veteran will lay remembered streets in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Navy. Kelly Gardner, honorary chapter regent of the Heritage of Walker chapter, will lay a remembered street in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Air Force. Let me be the uh, most non-political uh, 
politician here today and speak for her about 30 seconds. Uh, first of all, thank you, uh, Elizabeth. And, and uh, my dad is, is was Air Force, and my son uh, just returned from a deployment uh, just uh, a few weeks ago. He's Army Special Forces, um, and, and and it's it's wonderful as we think of all the internal turmoil, turmoil we have in our country to really bring it back to our roots, and that is, is the, the, the people, the men and women who gave their lives to, uh, to have all those freedoms and freedoms. So I'll have to describe Elizabeth. So uh, I take uh, take our roles very seriously, and I, I see Lisa Waddell, and I'm sitting in a seat that her dad served in 20 years ago. Uh, from a county perspective, we take very seriously and very prideful our, our role in supporting veterans that have come home from wars and how we can support them from, from uh, the, the veteran support that we've initially initiated to all the different programs that we have for veterans. We take it very seriously and it's something I'm very proud of that, we, uh, that I can play a small role in. So thank you, uh, uh, Daughters of the American Revolution, for, uh, for what you're doing here today and for all of us, uh, all of you for being here. Thank you. Madam State Regents. Present our commitment as a as united America to remember the fallen. We also want these remembrance wreaths to symbolize our honor to those who have served and are serving in the armed forces of our great nation and to their families who endure sacrifices every day on our behalf. To our children, we want you to understand that the freedoms you enjoy today have been bought at a price, and that we realize that and respect that. And you should encourage people to honor our veterans in any way that you see fit. If they've given their all, and a small moment of our time as a thank you is, is well appreciated. We will have taps play as the colors are presented. of Wreaths Across America is we will be placing wreaths at veterans' graves that are here at Incarnation. This is a unique cemetery. We're not like Fort Snelling where everyone is a, is a veteran. So there are some that have the, the brass stars that will be easy to identify. I do have a list. Um, if there's any families here of veterans that are here, I, I encourage you to take a wreath first and to place it at your loved one's grave. Um, the rest of us, we can each take a wreath and I have the list. There are flags that have been set. It's amazing how much the snow has melted. Um, so they're much easier to find than they were a couple of weeks ago. So, um, thank you for coming. And again, I'd, I'd like to take a group picture before um, everyone leaves, so, so don't escape. But thanks again for coming. <laughs> Thank you. 